I mean, the only thing that would scare me more is having every one of my football games on on the CW. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing that could scare me more than my brilliance. Right, right. How when's about it, this? When's deal? the last time before before we get in? When's the last time you watched the CW or anything on it? Can you remember? Because I can't even remember. Can't even remember. Couldn't even tell you. I don't even know what's on the CW. Uh, 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 probably three, four, however many weeks ago now, Mrs. Monty and I were sitting around and we flipped on uh, YouTube TV and Live Golf was on. Now, I don't know if that, I think that's still on the CW. Because it's garbage. But I don't associate it with the CW. But that's as close as I can get. Yeah. Um. But reports out there reports and i warn you it's a lot of people playing roles trying to be role models right um reports say that the cw and the pack not one but two are close to a tv deal that would allegedly distribute washington state and oregon state home games on a national basis which I am skeptical of because I have not been able to confirm that. And TV industry sources have told me that it is not clear if this is a regional or a national deal with the CW. I would be really surprised if the CW was distributing Oregon State and Washington State home games to the East Coast, who could not care less, even if it was possible, about watching Washington State and Oregon State home games. Now, if you're in the Pacific Northwest, the PNW loves their Washington State, Oregon State football. There's no doubt that Washington State has a significant TV audience Thanks. in the Pacific Northwest. But does Washington State or Oregon State strike you as a national brand? And I pause because I am fairly certain it does not. And it does not make a lot of sense to me for the CW who I understand is trying to get into college football. But it does not make a whole lot of sense to me that the CW would distribute regional football teams on a national basis and pay significant money to do so. That's the part that I'm stuck on. But, Jake, does the CW represent a win for the Pac-12? Well, I, I think just on the surface, if if this deal were to get done, regional or national, yeah, I think it's a win on some level, given the position that you're in. But – but let's be very clear. I don't think that this is a win from the standpoint of you just put together some amazing TV deal, right? This isn't like some, you know, revolutionary, like new setup. This is you just trying to get distribution. And I respect that. I understand it. I think that that's absolutely what they should be looking at, especially given that you're you're in a partnership with the Mountain West. And this, and this TV deal allegedly... Uh, uh, allegedly works in some of the the uh, the Mountain West, obviously, because when you're playing home games, obviously they've got a scheduling alliance. And so for the Mountain West, that really helps them. So that's kind of the thought here that, hey, you know, the the pack two are trying to put, uh, you know, are trying to put their best foot forward and help this partnership as much as they can by getting something done. And that's why I tend to agree. I'm a little skeptical that this is somehow a national TV deal. It's all cool that we want to drop numbers like the CW's got 203 stations nationwide, and they reach, I believe, the number that was dropped was uh, almost 100% of all U.S. households. That's cool, and, and and that's a great marketing ploy. But the issue with this is, is that uh, I don't feel like the CW is attached to sports. Do they have live? Yes. But when's the last time you were like, wow, man. It's Saturday, and this sport I know is on somewhere. Let's go check the CW. I, I, that just doesn't cross my mind. The CW is not even in my my stratosphere of options. I mean, hell, like I'm I'm pretty much on you know at this point w with the streaming situation that we're in. I you know I'm I'm just pulling up the YouTube TV app on my TV, and it's giving me the things that I watch the most. I don't even have to flip through the guide. It tells me. Hey, your college football is here. The NFL is there. Baseball is here because you have the league pass uh, or you have MLB extra yeah. innings. Like, it, I don't even need to look through uh, like a guide or a menu. So well, I think you look at the CW, and this is their sports-only affiliates. 
These are stations that do not take anything but sports. So let's assume that this is who's getting this. Because I think there is a real possibility um, that this is what it's targeted at. This does not make this this list right here. Obviously, WGN TV in Chicago is significant. But what did WGN TV in Chicago say last fall? We are in no way, shape, or form interested in Pac-12 programming. Because if you're WGN TV in Chicago, you're in the heart of Big Ten country. Nobody is going to watch Oregon State and Washington State instead of Ohio State, Minnesota, Indiana, Illinois. Yeah. Like it, this, this doesn't make a lot of sense. And you look at how these are also Elmira, Erie, uh, Hartford, San Diego, Traverse City, Cadillac, Michigan. It, it, is that exciting for, for anybody? And I would have to tell you, I, I don't believe that it is. And if you look at the hundreds of other, you know, plus affiliates, they call them, that take occasional programming. And you look at where these other networks are. You guys, we're talking about Atlanta, Georgia. We're talking about Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Are you telling me that that Birmingham, Alabama, Boston, Massachusetts, Buffalo, New York, Charlotte, North Carolina? Uh, are you telling me that Chicago, which has WCIU TV as well, which I think is Channel Twenty Six, Denver, Colorado, maybe Evansville, Indiana, probably not. I don't buy for a second that this is a national TV deal with the CW because that just does not make sense. That that doesn't make sense. And if I I also would point out, if you look at the live golf schedule, and I was looking at this last night, if you look at the the live golf schedule, there is quite a bit of there is quite a bit of conflict um, in the live golf schedule with college football. And if you look at if you look at the the early August game uh, for or the early August tournament, it I think it's going to create I think it's going to create a significant issue with the CW and with college football because as they expand the, the live golf schedule and obviously this is all going to change right with the PGA I think live golf is a problem for them. I just don't see this as a national deal for the Pac-12. I I don't know how that happens. If if and I guess my question is if the CW was going to pick up the Pac-2, Oregon State and Washington State on a national level, are you telling me that that they wouldn't have done that with the full Pac-12 and maybe the numbers didn't add up. And as we told you, they were interested in a regional deal when the conference had all of its members. Yeah. They're now going to be a national deal with just two. That it, there's something here that does not add up, and and, and that's the struggle. And I, and I think when you look at you know the history of reporting and who's saying what and w all that, like I I think that that this goes right up that same alley of hey something's getting done, but because we're pro Pac-12, we need to make it feel like hey it's a national deal. And just going off of what we've seen take place in TV negotiations over the past, however long it's been, what a year at least. Yes. Like this it just it simply doesn't make sense that a a a true like Pacific Northwest brand opportunity would be would be shown in the on the East Coast. That doesn't make a lot of sense, and everywhere in between. And and I tend to agree. You know, if you're if you're going to put this on in big Big Ten country, people are not going to watch it. They're going to find a way to yeah. get Ohio State, Oregon. They're going to find a way to get the big boys on their TV. And if they got to stream it, if they got to do whatever, they're going to do it because that's what they want to watch, which brings me back to my original point about this whole situation. Even if you did get a national deal, which I don't think you are, but let's say you did. You really tell me it's going to be super successful and all of a sudden this is going to yeah. this is going to make a huge impact. But it's not the problem is it's not ACC basketball which the CW also has. It's not dramatics, you know, non-scripted drama. Yeah. You know like which is what they do. I think they also have some form of pro wrestling like this is not ACC basketball. This is not Duke Carolina with all due respect. It's Oregon State, Washington State. And I can't see all of their affiliates taking it. 
And I think a lot of affiliates will treat it like live golf where they turned it off quite. Wasn't it Charles in charge? I think it, yeah. we, we talked about last year that you had, you had major CW affiliates leaving live golf after like 11 holes on Sunday in the final round to turn on Charles in charge. Yeah. It, it's, it's mind blowing, right? Like it is, it's one of those things where it, in the NFL and the NBA and, in we've talked about this and we're going to talk about it here in a minute. The NFL and the NBA are fighting over Christmas day. Everybody's watching that. Yeah. Is everybody interested in Washington state and Oregon state on the CW on your rando Saturday afternoon? I just don't think so, man. And, and, and that's why I say like, I don't think so either. I, I think it makes more sense just to do a regional deal. I think that, that, you know, and again, we obviously don't have financials. We obviously don't know, you know, what they're really talking about here from a money standpoint. But, but I, I just can't believe that that these two schools are in a position to number one try to negotiate their way into a national opportunity because it just doesn't make sense from a business standpoint. But number two, I don't think anybody wants to pay them for a national opportunity. It makes sense to do it regionally. It makes sense to show you up and it down does. the West Coast. Like there, there are certainly Washington state and Oregon state fans in the state of California in, you know, in Idaho in all up and down the West coast. Okay, cool. I get that. If that's what this is great. Totally cool. Understand it. Yeah. But I just don't love the fact that, that the spin is like, Oh man, it looks like they got more exposure. Like it looks like they finally got a TV deal done. It's like, no dude, you're setting it up for failure, bro. Like this should be a regional opportunity. It's the Mountain West, it, so it makes sense from that standpoint. And that's the other thing that I think you know is not being talked about in the reporting. It, it, the 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 TV deal is six home games for Washington State, six home games for Oregon State, and obviously whoever they're playing is going to be on TV during that game, which is obviously the Mountain West. So for the Mountain West, this also makes a lot of sense. This is an additional opportunity to show your brand outside of the TV deal. You've Which is got. in, as we reported when, when I think it was in December or January, we reported that part of the framework agreement between uh, the mountain West and the PAC two is that the PAC two has the right to go out and get their own TV deal. So this is not a surprise that they are, they are bringing a TV deal. What's surprising is it's a CW and listen, what's ultimately going to determine success or failure on this deal. Well, how much is CW is willing to pay? That's what this is. How much is the CW willing to invest in Pac-2 football instead of Charles in charge? Oh. That it's as simple as that, right? I mean, well, and it sounds gnarly to say, but like I, I that's literally what happened. I mean, you were getting more views on shows like that than you were on Live, and so it does beg the question. And you still are. Yeah, would would. It like what outside of Washington and Oregon, those two states, outside of those two states, geographically speaking, would CW affiliates get more views on football or the shows that they've been showing? And I, I think that's the question. If you're in Chicago, if you're WGN TV in Chicago, arguably the biggest affiliate the CW has, do you want reruns of 80 sitcoms or do you want what would be a big matchup for Washington State? Um, do you want why? Well, what about, like the Apple Cup? The Apple Cup. If yeah. it's if it's in if it's in Pullman, and it's Washington, Washington State, what's going to pull more in Chicago? I don't honestly know the answer to that question. I I truly do not. If it's San Diego State, if it's you know the Aztecs in and Beeves at Reeser, I'm going to guess Charles in Charge is going to pull more on WGN TV than a football game that are two teams that you're not interested in. Now, if you are in Seattle, if you are in Portland, if you are in, you know, Davis, if you're in Sacramento, San Diego, is is Los Angeles, is the CW in Los Angeles, KTLA TV, are they going to take San Diego State and Washington State? I would guess they would. Is that better than a rerun of Andy Griffith? It probably is. But that's one of the only markets where it probably is better than a rerun. Which is why you should do a regional deal. Yeah, exactly right. I, I agree with that 100%. Um, it also bothers me that that 
the reporting instantly goes to this grandiose situation. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in the idea of, hey, let's pump this up, pump this up, pump this up to be something that it that, in my opinion, is I just don't see how it is a national deal. That doesn't make sense for anybody. I like like I understand if you wanted a national opportunity, like maybe streaming would have been better for you. Like, would it be possible to get on ESPN plus for all your games? Would it be possible to, you know, that's what I'm trying to understand. So the CW feels like the option of, Hey, to your point, Hey, we had conversations with the CW when we were a full blown conference. Let's go back to them. This feels like the easy button just to get some carriage. It's a two year thing, man. Yeah. That, that, that is, and I don't know if their deal is two years. This is a two year problem for the PAC 12, because again, I think you are going to have significant realignment within the next two years. Who knows what's going to happen with the ACC? Things are going to change. So this is a band aid. You had to have a solution. I totally get it. Yeah. But I'm not like the the win that you got with the sixty five million dollar agreement you made with the exiting ten members unequivocally a win. As I said yesterday, this deal with the CW is not unequivocally a win. I think this puts you regionally into a really good position. But you would have been better off in my opinion, with a CBS Sports Network. You would have been better off with a even Strip Sports, who's got some really good markets on your on your map. Yeah, You would have been much better off. I think this is a deal that puts you in a position to broadcast your games within the footprint that you currently have, which is the Mountain West. And if that's what this is, uh, it, that's what you had to do. Because ultimately the question is, is the Pac-12 a long-term brand? And right now, these are the kind of deals that make me question Kirk Schultz. These are the kind of deals where I'm like, dude, is this is this what's best for the health of the Pac-2? And I don't know that this is what's best for the health of them. It better be good money. It better be good money. Yeah. That's all I can good say. good money, I can kind of understand it. That's it. it and what is good money? <clears throat> It'd be great if it was a, a $40 million deal a year. That'd be great. I can't believe for two teams on a, it with a regional footprint that you're getting that you're getting more than ten million dollars a team. If you got twenty million dollars, I'd be jumping up and down and just yeah, absolutely celebrating. Yeah, if if you get ten million a team, I I would have to know the number. Yeah, to be excited about it. All right, let's get your comments. Uh, in here on the show, as always, brought to you by our good friends at Prize Picks, PrizePicks.com. Told you when the show started. Austin Reeves, my guy, came through last night. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm t- I cannot wait. An hour from now, when we're talking NBA, I will. I am going to be un- uh, just unconsolable. You, you got. I. Mm, mm. <laughs> I'm warning you right now. I am I am here for it today. I will fight you on the Lakers today. I will. And I'll drop that motherfucker. Use the promo code Monty. Download the Prize Picks app. Get 100% deposit matching. After the street clothes, Davis. Up to $100. Played 52 minutes last night. This whole thing that Anthony Davis is injury prone, now he's probably going to come out and pull a labia tomorrow, but that's fine. <laughs> But right now, this whole thing that he doesn't stay healthy, yeah, that's a thing of the past because this dude played 52 minutes last night. 52 minutes of greatness. And again, I just ask, where where are all the Josh Giddy supporters? Probably, it's probably nap time for you kids. Um, um. Josh. Austin, Austin Reeves had a 30-point triple-double last night. Excuse me. It's a 30-piece nugget. Thank you. I'm just... My guy Chet Holmgren last night. You know. Carried the mail. Won your boy some money. Just saying. Just saying. Prize picks. Prizepicks.com. Download the app. Uh, you won't be able to beat me in prize picks. Just... That shouldn't stop you. Because my dominance is unparalleled and unmatched. I think we all... I mean, I think we all recognize that. It is if I say it is. 